Violent crime is on the rise in Greensboro. So far this year, there have been 23 homicides, 647 aggravated assaults with a firearm. Both up from the same time frame in 2021. So how do the candidates for mayor plan to tackle the problem? Let's find out before you go for your vote to be counted. All right, welcome back to our conversation with the candidates for mayor in Greensboro. We are now talking about violence because police say it is a growing concern in our community. The city recently launched a new crime mapping tool to help citizens see how their neighborhood is being impacted. When you look at the violent crimes over the past six months, it's clustered in certain areas of the city. And some people online are calling for resources to be diverted from the low crime areas to go to the high crime areas. What do you think of their idea, Councilman Outley? The reality is crime is an epidemic state in our community. Um, it's by far the greatest it has been over this last five year period. And so what we need to do on violent crime consistent with their ideas and thoughts is we need prevention and intervention. We need to tackle the root causes of crime, do things like other cities have done and have a guarantee of jobs for children who live in low income neighborhoods. So they're off the streets during the summer when a lot of the violent crime occurs but they're also getting opportunities to develop job skills and change their family trees. But we also need to provide more resources to our Greensboro Police Department. We have, according to the local government commission or the school of government, the worst response times of any major city in North Carolina. So we need to provide more resources to the police department so that they can respond adequately to conditions as they exist. That means that we have to do things differently than we've done in the past. I would provide mayoral leadership that is different. Rather than turning down federal grants for needed police equipment, like the incumbent mayor has done, provide the police what they need That's and tackle time. root causes. You'll be able to finish that with your final thought. Let's get your thoughts on gun violence and what we can do differently. Well, so first let me say that I am very proud that I have been endorsed by the Greensboro Police Officers Association and the Greensboro Professional Firefighters Association. I think it's very important that they support me. They are the boots on the ground and we have many conversations. I've also been financially supported by former Chief Police Chief Brian James, which I'm very proud of. I think he is the best chief we have had in a very long time. He and I work together along with the police department and community groups, because we're not gonna police our way out of this. We're gonna have to look at programs, programs such as Cure Violence and Run Well, and other ways that we can work with the community to see how it is that they need to be policed. I know that I can't tell somebody how the police department should be police, but I can work with them. I can get the tools that they need. And that's what I have a history of doing, which is why they came out and supported me. All right, and that's right there at the bell. I could hear the countdown. What do you say to that, sir? Sure. Uh, you know, endorsements are something. Uh, I've been endorsed by the North Carolina Police Beloved Association, the largest police organization in the state. I've also been endorsed by former Chief uh, Wayne Scott who spoke to my integrity and my telling it like it is and doing what's right, both ensuring that there's fair policing, but also the police had resources, whether it's through federal grants or otherwise. But the most important thing is whether or not a mayor has a clear vision and a plan to actually solve the problem of violent crime. I have that plan and encourage people to learn about it. All right, and you have 30 seconds to talk about guns and violence. So working with the police chief, he developed the 500 Jobs Initiative. We do have a youth jobs program to help kids in at-risk areas, and it is a great program. Um, I worked with him on ways that we could extend our resources, civilian traffic enforcement. It is a bill that is currently working its way through the, through the Senate. We are looking at creative ways that we can make our resources go further. I think it's important I get in the cars and I drive, along, drive around with police and fire to get their input. Okay. All right, so these are quick, but we want to make sure that you're getting a good smattering of what each one of these candidates thinks about each one of these topics. Another major issue in our community is food insecurity. It is so dire right now in Greensboro. In fact, Urban Ministry says they're about to run out of food for folks in the next two weeks. WFMY is helping with an emergency food drive this Friday at the Walmart on Battleground from 9 a.m. until 6. So let's make this our next topic. Mayor Vaughn, what can you do to make sure that everyone in our community has food on the table? 
So um, I am the past chair of the North Carolina Metro Mayors Coalition, and we had a meeting about two weeks ago, and that was one of the topics that we discussed, because it is not unique to Greensboro. It is something that is happening all over our state and all over our country. And what we talked about really is that it is a distribution issue, that when you go into most, most grocery stores, the shelves are full. When you talk with Second Harvest Food Bank, they have the food. So it's how do we get the food to the individual families? One thing that we talked about is during COVID, delivery methods have changed quite a bit. People are shopping online, they're getting things delivered. So we are looking at a way that we can actually have groceries delivered to the individuals who need the food the most. It might mean that we have to subsidize certain delivery fees, but it is a few food distribution issue more than it is a food scarcity issue. So I believe the Metro mayors, as we've come together and we put our resources together, that we have plans. The city of Greens... A lot of people just can't afford food. It's gone up so much. How do you fix that? Sure. Greensboro is one of the top 10 most food insecure cities in the country. The reality is it should not be that way and it doesn't have to be that way. But it takes changing and moving again from just talking about developing plans to actually taking concrete actions that break away from the failed status quo. That includes doing things like making sure that we prioritize our transportation system. We might not always be able to control where the grocery store is located, but where you have a public transportation system that allows people to quickly go from their homes to the grocery store, that makes them more food secure. But that means that we can't do as we've done, for example, recently in connection with the American Rescue Plan, supported by the incumbent mayor, and organizations who are well-connected being prioritized and them receiving $5,000 to repair broken windows while we have persistent problems with food insecurity, a lack of transportation, the police department not having the adequate resources they need to be successful. We could All right, hold that thought, we'll be back. So when I was elected mayor, Greensboro was actually the number one food insecure um, area. It's actually our MSA. It is not the city of Greensboro. It includes Guilford, Rockingham, and Randolph. We are now moving down that list to number 14. And I am glad that we have made progress. We have a lot of progress to move forward. But we have the correct people at the table looking at creative results. What is it that we can do? How can we work with our nonprofits like Second Harvest Food Bank, Backpack Beginnings? How do you respond to that? I respond by saying we can do better. We have everything we need to be successful in Greensboro. It has to move away from just talk and discussion of the problem to taking action. That includes, again, providing more public transportation so people can actually reach grocery stores and are more food secure. It means doing things like providing guarantees to grocers who are looking at investing in Greensboro. Uh, you know, in addition to being a council person, I'm in, the, in private business as an attorney. What businesses want is some certainty in decreasing of risk. The city can provide guarantees and encourage grocers. So coming up next, perhaps the most important question you're gonna to wanna to hear, that's after the break. <laughs>